welcome everyone to the new jamaica broadcasting channel if you are new here don't forget to like subscribe share and most importantly hit the notification bell to get our latest updates so today our focus is on the seven ground church of god of prophecy located in Kellett's Clarendon in Jamaica. The church was recently painted with the help of some tremendous individuals. As Bob Marley rightly said, live for yourself and you will live in vain. Live for others and you will live again. Now this quote describes best what transpired recently. Such a great combination of community members like spinners, okra, members of the One Connection family and the Seven Ground Church family. This was indeed a blessing to see such love and unity in the community. Guys, trust me when I say righteousness is unstoppable. Good work is the light of the world. So we just want to use this opportunity to big up Sister Hartwell who is currently in charge of the church. Now we should Push this good work to honor Elder Cameron, Pastor Pinnock, and Sister Pinnock. They have done a tremendous job. Well done. Revolution time. Only those who know the history will be able to understand the mystery. Now, based on information collected, the Seven Ground Church of God of Prophecy was started under a street light across from Deacon Brooks and Sister Laurie's house in a small community in Kelly's Clarendon called Seven Ground. The church then relocated to another section of the community. This time it was be beside Mas Pass and his brother Ma Sugar. At that location, a mango tree currently stands as the landmark at the spot where the church once stood. Upon leaving that location beside Mas Pass and his brother Ma Sugar, the church relocated just across the street to its current home where it has been for many years. Oh, the good old days, from slabs of board on building blocks for benches down at Sister Laurie and Deacon Brooks Gate, to a piece of land over by Mass Pass where a wattle and daub building was used for worship, a windowless church with a dirt floor, members lighting the lamp to start the nightly services, or nightly meetings, leaving this said lamp at Deacon Brooks for safekeeping. Seven Ground Church has come a far way. How far, you might ask? Why, well, before the ashes. Yes, the ashes. The church was burned to the ground in 2000, but raised from the ashes just like the phoenix. How heartwarming to remember the many church services, week of meetings, christenings, vocational Bible school or VBS, and the walks to the river for baptism. The many weddings and funerals held at this church. For many, the church is not only considered a place of worship, but also a place of learning as the church also houses the prestigious Seven Ground Basic School. Pastor and Sister Pinnock, you are legends. Things have changed, but you will never be forgotten.
di kandung tani kita buka oh. Uh, this is the landmark people, this mango tree. Yeah, based on information collected I hear that the second church was right here before it, it moved to the the location that it is right now. Over the side. So here's the mango tree uh, landmark. The mango tree. Uh. Alright. To make things more clear, I hear that a man named Sugar that was mass pass. Brother was living right here beside the church, right here, so yeah, man. So opposite the church with it, opposite Semugong church with it, right now. Yeah, man. So the second church, the one of the mango tree there. Yeah, and Sugar House, Mass Pass brother was right here, so right as there. All right, right at the start of the church, yes, so. The church is doing a great job of teaching the word and um, training up the children. And if we want the children to hear the word, the Sunday school has never ever been shut down outside of COVID. Sunday school is always on. And um, so it is not for want of, of the word why, why children are maybe not in the way that they should. It has a lot to do with other things influence lack of role models and so on um i don't know i don't want to i <laughs> i don't want to knock the the church in any way because as someone who grew up in the church i understand the values that the church instills in young people i have benefited from from sitting under good leadership and learning at the feet of people i consider to be to be great men in terms of being genuinely sold out when it comes on to the christian faith um for me <laughs> let the church do do what it is doing um because i i want to look at faith and and works the bible teaches that faith without works is dead and um i know that church people are people of faith i think we're lacking when it comes on to actual work and for me i see one connection doing a lot of work so i believe the children um can be can be influenced through the work of one connection so one connection needs to continue to do what it is doing it needs to always be an example when it is out there in the community um, sharing and providing assistance children are looking on let them see the members of one connection be be upstanding citizens be mannerly um, be, be decent human beings and I think they can be a model for what children ought to be because when they go to church they're going to see they're going to see christians at their best when they when they're out in the street they they maybe see a lot of what is opposite to what the church is teaching so one connection one connection can be the people on the street that help to set the right example for children so for me let the church teach let the church worship let the church have faith and let one connection when when they hit the road doing good let them be let them be the the foot soldiers let them be the work um i don't know how much sense that makes but that is the safest way i can i can say what i have to say because i am reminded of of the early days when 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 christ was on earth a lot of the work that he did took place outside of the the building 
the temple um, and um, the disciples basically were the ones who were the early members of the church um, and I saw Jesus in the temple when he went and read with the with the elders I saw him in the temple when he went to chase out those who were buying and selling um, because they were desecrating the temple but I, I see him I, I saw more of him on the 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 outside within the communities um, teaching and um, working miracles and for me what one connection is doing is is nothing short of a, of a miracle um, the some of us are waiting on on um, <laughs> maybe God to come down from heaven and create the changes that we want to see but we are going to have to understand that we have to play a role in in improving our own circumstances we have the miracle of life we have the miracle of health and strength we have the miracle of knowledge and wisdom and understanding and we need to use that to change and to improve our circumstances so for me I, I think that the Bible said greater works than these shall he do and there's a lot of work to be done so i think one connection can move on to greater things and will move on to greater things and i think where something is happening people will run to see um i i i remember i think it was a woman at the well who said come see a man i think if one connection continues to do what it is doing people will come to see what is going on because um that is maybe what is lacking in the church there was a time when church would be full because something is happening at church people were were being healed and and uh, miracles were being worked and people would flock to the church to see what is going to happen tonight what's going to happen today and um we we have seen a lull in in the performing of miracles and so on and um i think people are attracted many people are attracted to what they what they see and people will see the work of one connection and will be drawn towards that so i think one connection should turn up the thing and should organize and get more done and remember the children are watching set the right example and then use that platform to guide them into church so one connection can become the church they have some church members some are not those are church members influence the others and um take a child with you take your own child i don't know if that makes sense